Okay, so me and Amanda are on the way to Americas, Georgia, to a place called Fresh Plant Inc. Turn left onto Rucker Street. <laughs> and that's our, uh, that's our <laughs> cue. So <laughs> we're going down here because um, Amanda found this place and they have stuff by the bushel, which is what we want. We want to buy in bulk, not little bitty baskets, because we want to put up. Quarters of a mile. Take a slight <laughs> left turn on the Summerfield Road. Shh, we're filming. We want to put up like squash, tomatoes, or we don't know what we're going to get. We're just going to go see what they have and see what we can find and be able to put it in the freezer. So, yeah, we're going to be there in just a minute. Three minutes left. Okay, so we only ended up getting squash and Amanda got some green beans. So I ended up getting a bushel of squash. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, here's our squash we got. This is half a bushel. A box that we bought was half a bushel. Um, so I ended up buying two so that I had a total of one bushel. And that was about $30. So um, I'm going to blanch all of this and freeze it. So, and Amanda got some pretty green beans. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show y'all how to blanch squash for freezing. And I'm gonna show y'all how to pick your squash, where to get it, and also all the supplies you're gonna need. This is super simple. If you're not sure what blanching is, be sure to check out my video on how to blanch peas for freezing. That explains all the basics and what blanching is and what it does and why you need to do it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is start with a clean kitchen. That way nothing is in your way and you have all the open space that you need to get this going, okay? Okay, what you need is some squash. I like to get my squash in bulk and this is a box of squash which is about a half a bushel so I ended up getting two boxes so I have a whole bushel of squash to put up today so my hands are gonna be full. So whenever you go pick out squash at a farm market, just make sure it's clean, it's pretty, it's not bruised up, it's bright, vibrant yellow. You can also ask them when the squash was picked. I talked about that in my um, how to blanch peas video. So don't be afraid to ask them, um, you know, how fresh is the squash? And a lot of times, make sure that they're keeping their squash in coolers where it stays cool after they've picked it. That way it stays fresh and it doesn't age and get yucky. Um, you can get a lot of your squash from local farm markets. Um, sometimes a lot of people in your area will actually grow squash in their backyard. So they may even be able to grow enough that they can supply you with um, a half a box or maybe something a little smaller than that. But being that I like to put up several bags in my freezer, that's why I get a large quantity of squash. So um, again, in my other video I talked about, you can look up your certified farm markets for your state. And in the state of Georgia, there's a pamphlet that the Georgia Farm Bureau puts out for all the certified farm markets in the state. So this is very helpful. Also, I just hit up Google and I also use Facebook as a search engine to look up farm markets and people putting out fresh produce. Okay, there's only a few supplies that you're gonna need in order to blanch a squash and put it up in the freezer. It's pretty simple, but let's do this step by step so that you have a clear understanding of what you need to do in case this is your first time. Gonna need some squash. You're gonna need a cutting board and a knife. You're gonna need a large pot. I use about a 12 quart pot. You're gonna need a colander of some sort or a makeshift colander, which is what I have here. I drilled holes in the bottom of these pans. Here's some pans that I've not drilled holes in. And these will be used for like getting the squash to cool down. I'll spread them out in here. But this is my makeshift colander. So you can just use any colander you have in your kitchen. A measuring cup and some quart size Ziploc freezer bags and a sharpie. You're also going to need your sink and a bag of ice. Okay, you might want to grab a kitchen towel because things can kind of get messy in your kitchen. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash the squash and y'all know I like to wash all my vegetables twice. Okay, I don't always use a brush, um, but sometimes if you feel like your squash is a little dirty, you can, but you don't have to. Um, my squash is pretty clean. That's another thing you wanna look for when you're looking for squash at a farm market is make sure it's clean and not crazy, crazy dirty and just yucky. If it is, just don't go there. <laughs> 
Okay, now that all the squash is washed, I've got it laid out, it, um, it'll um it air dry a little bit, but I'm gonna start cutting it up into slices and we're just gonna start filling this pot up. Okay, so that half a bushel of box there took two of my big pots. I still have a whole nother half bushel in the fridge to put up. But just so you know, as far as quantity, it's very vol voluminous, voluminous, whatever that word is. You're just going to need probably two of your big pots for that size box. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill our pots up with water and we're going to put them on the stove. Okay, so we got this pot full of water and... Just gonna turn it on high and it's gonna take it a few minutes to come to a boil but once it does we'll set our timer it's starting to slightly boil in the pot uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and start my timer for three minutes okay my timer went off I'm about to dump this into this strainer And I'm gonna plunge it in an ice bath next to me. Okay, so I've got this uh, set of squash cooled down. It's ready to be bagged. And so while I was waiting on all the squash to boil, I went ahead and wrote on all my bags. And you know, I always like to write the date, where it came from. And so I've already done all that on my bags and I've opened them all up. Now I'm ready to bag my squash. And this time for me and my husband, I'm gonna do three cups in a bag. Um, sometimes if you have a larger family or you would rather have leftovers or it depends on what you're making or prepping this for, you can always do more or less. So one easy way to bag your squash, I'm going to show you is to use a cup. And just flip it over the cup like so. We'll do three cups. Roughly three cups. Let's put it like that. <laughs> and it's okay if you have a little water in this. <laughs> and then there you go and then I always try to get as much air out of the bag as I can and there we go I got three cups of squash sometimes I do write how many cups I have on us on a bag so but anyways we're gonna fill up the rest of these okay don't forget to make sure your squash is completely cool before you bag them um if you do start bagging them and you feel like some of your squash down in the bottom is warm just leave your bags open but get the squash as cool as possible before you bag them and close them up also whenever you do this remember no seasoning no salt nothing it's plain also when you bag uh, it's okay if you get a little bit of water in the bags with your squash. It's totally fine. So whenever you um, take a bag out of the freezer in the future and you throw them out to cook, you can just drain that water off. Okay, y'all got all the squash finally done. And I ended up with 23 bags total and that was three cups per bag. I wrote it down in my book. I talked about this in my other video that I did about how to blanch peas, but I record everything every year so that I have something to reference and I know how much I did the previous year and how much things cost. And one bushel of squash was $30 and I said I got 23 bags, so that's $1.30 a bag. Um, so I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, that's a good fair price for a side vegetable for dinner one night. Um, we're gonna use this for like sauteing in the frying pan or squash casseroles, or you could put it in soups. You could mix it with whatever. So um, maybe some meal prep, lunches, things like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you got any questions about how to free squash or anything that I did in this video, please let me know. You can drop it down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this. And I guess I will catch y'all in the next video. Thank y'all. See y'all next time.